Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nilatri Mukherjee and I am a regulated Canadian immigration consultant. I practice in Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. And I am also the founder and the CEO of Nouveau Nation Immigration Consulting. So if your visit visa application is rejected, got rejected, make sure you do not jump on the reapplication process immediately. If you have seen the rejection letter, recent past IRCC have changed the rejection letter a little bit, tweaked the rejection letter a little bit, if you will, and they have quite, quite categorically mentioned that do not reapply unless and until your situation has changed. So your situation is obviously your unique situation which you have displayed at the time of your previous application. A case in point, if the IRCC has said that, well, they do not believe that based on your financial situation, you are able to make a trip to Canada, do not jump onto the reapplication process without changing the financial situation drastically. And obviously this really does not mean that you will get tons and tons of money from here and there and put it onto your account. It may be calling for a tweaking of your account. A case in point will be, for example, if you are somebody that believes in saving or investing, so if you believe in putting more and more amount of money on the fixed deposit and less and comparatively less amount of money on your checking or savings account, make sure you change that, you know, change that proportion a little bit. Do the tweaking for a few months, at least three to four months. Try to put more amount of money in your bank account and maybe a little less on your investments and then see how the account looks like and then only go for a reapplication. That's one circumstance. If they say that, well, you have got significant family ties here in Canada, then make sure you try to provide some extra documents that proves your, that really strengthens your ties to the home country. So do this kind of tweakings and then you reapply. Sometimes I see clients telling me that, well, just reapply, we'll see how it goes. That's probably not the right attribute, I would say at this point in time, because the more and more number of rejections you have on the file and for visitor visa, the number of rejections have gone, at, gone up quite substantially. It probably does not make sense to reapply without knowing what really has gone wrong and then to figuring out how to make things correct. Ideally, you should wait for GCMS notes to see the office's note and then reapply. But again, practically speaking, GCMS is taking well over three to four months and majority of you do not have that much amount of time to wait. So it's you that need to introspect and analyze and assess and then to reapply. If you need professional assistance, come for a consultation. Let me assess. Let me look through all your documents. Let me try to figure out what really has gone wrong and accordingly will tell you what needs to be done to make things better for the next time. And then you can do the reapplication process either on your own or if you need me, I'll be more than happy or anybody can help you you know, with that reapplication process. So if you need our professional assistance, hop onto our website, novonation.ca, book a consultation. You can also now book an in-person consultation with me for our office in Mississauga. Feel free to do that if you're in Canada and want to discuss the case about somebody else. So I, so regardless of like, you know, whether it be an in-person meeting or a video call, I'll be more than happy to take a look at everything to be able to tell you what needs to be done correctly the next time. Hope this helps guys. See you guys in the next one. Bye now.